to. Israel once again reaches for the heavens with its most ambitious space venture yet. I'm very happy to say today that we are able to do this and to announce that Israel is returning to the moon. And today we can discuss the details of the mission and the general idea behind our new spaceship. Nearly two years after the Bereshit lunar lander failed its moon landing, the minds behind it are now launching Bereshit 2, a complex multi-stage lunar orbiter with multiple landing vehicles for long-term exploration. The time frame and budget for the new mission are equally ambitious. It's set for mid-2024, just three and a half years away, and with a budget of just $100 million. The same as the previous failed mission, the new one has ambitious partners as well, as reports circulate that the UAE wants to participate. The Emirates just launched their own Mars lander in July and is poised to become a regional space power alongside Israel, but is also interested in the business aspects. Israel became the seventh nation in history to reach the moon, and Space IL was the first private company to do it at all, opening the door to the world of commercial space flight. The second mission was under development as soon as the first one failed. In February 2019, calculation errors in the lunar lander's telemetry caused the Bereshit lander to crash into the moon at high speed. Since then, Space IL has been trying to pick up the pieces. Since the beginning of this year, we got some donations and have been working the last few months to find a mission for Bereshit 2. We don't just want to repeat the last mission and just change the last five minutes. The second mission is being done in concert with Israel's space agency, as well as the Israeli aerospace industry. And much like the first, the purpose isn't just space exploration. It's meant to inspire future generations of Israeli engineers to reach higher and to keep Israeli tech among the best in the world and beyond.